hailing from Giddings, Texas, is one of the greatest pitchers you likely never heard of, Hilton Lee Smith. Hilton Smith was a great pitcher, primarily for the Kansas City Monarchs. And Hilton Smith pitched alongside the legendary Satchel Paige, and they were polar opposites. When Satchel walked in the room, oh, the room lit up. Oh, you knew he was in the room. And if you didn't know, he was going to let you know that he was in the room. Hilton Smith was the exact opposite. Very quiet, very workmanlike, unassuming, but just as lethal. Possessing what many believe to be the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. Hilton Smith was indeed the truth. Keep to good work. You welcome. Now the left fielder, Harvey. The pitch. And that one foul. You got one like. Smith wheels and deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Hilton Smith didn't get the same kind of fame as his longtime teammate Satchel Paige, but he was just as good. Roy Campanella played against them, and he said you couldn't tell the difference between them when Smith came in to relieve Satchel on the mound. Next offering is down low. Great story about how Hilton started his pro career. In 1931, he beat a former Negro League pitcher named oh, Willie that? Owens, who recommended him to a semi-pro team, the Austin Black Senators. They signed him up, and a week later, he pitched Austin to a win over the Chicago American Giants. Smith comes to the plate. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. Nice and bad right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Smith kicks and delivers. In the air, right side of the infield. O'Neal underneath it. Puts the squeeze on it. Rounder tags it second. Smith looking sharp so far. And first offering is fouled off. Ground ball up the middle. Perry handles the chance. In there safely. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Bell. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now it's even up. Next pitch inside, ball two. That one hit to right. Bradley grabs it on the run. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Murray. 
Hilton Smith only pitched in one game for the Monarchs in 1936, but in 37, he led them with 11 wins, including nine at home in Kansas City. Smith wheels and deals. Just missed. As great as Hilton was in 1937, he was even better in 38. He only lost twice and had easily the highest war of any player in the Negro American League. And he got the win while striking out three batters in the East-West All-Star game. Taylor nope, in the box the now as he leaves that one up high. Now a drag bunt, third base side, and he grabs it foul. Here's one example of how dominant Hilton Smith could be. In his 1937 no-hitter against the Chicago American Giants, Chicago only hit the ball out of the infield twice the whole game. That's overwhelming stuff. Next pitch off the play, and the count is 3-1. and one. And now a full count. The count is full. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Newman racing, makes the catch. Hayes in the box now, no balls and a strike. Next pitch has popped up. And Smith hauls it in for the out. And that's the inning. Welcome back to Mulebach Field. Stepping in, Smith. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next offering is foul back. Got him. Smith just two outs from locking up the win. Here's the left fielder, Glass. Fought off foul. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And the count one and two. Smith comes to the plate. And down on strikes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they're down to their final out. Bates digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball game. Hilton Smith slams the door. Buck O'Neill believed that Hilton Smith had the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. The legendary Monty Irvin would go on to say that it was the greatest curveball that he had the displeasure of ever trying to hit. He threw the big 12 to 6 breaker, and he threw what he called a tight curveball, where he would drop down three quarters, and he threw it all with pinpoint control. As a matter of fact, Monty Irvin would go on to say that you could know where his curveball was coming from, and the break and bite on it was so sharp, you still couldn't hit it. And now the shortstop, Murray.
Here comes a pitch. That one misses. And away we go this afternoon. And another ball. Now three and oh. That breaking stuff from Hilton Smith is just so tough to hit. Sammy Hughes was a star in the Negro Leagues, and he said he'd rather face Satchel than Smith because of how sharp Hilton's breaking stuff was. And now Taylor swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, All right, Siggy, who had the best breaking stuff of anyone you had to face in your career? I'd say Pedro Martinez's slider was pretty devastating. Smith with a strikeout on the knuckle curve. So digging in, Hayes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. You asked me about pitchers with great breaking stuff. Who stands out to you as having the best breaking pitches over the last few decades? Chris, when Doc Gooden came up, you think about that fastball, the four-seamer with the carry, but the curveball coming out of the same slot. That curveball from Doc Gooden was absolutely nasty. Smith in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. CC Sabathia would be another with a great slider and Randy Johnson of course as well. For both those guys I can't imagine what it was like for the few left-handed batters that had to dig in against two giant lefties with nasty sliders. Smith kicks and delivers. Caught him looking for the K. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Glass. But why the kick the pitch? They say it went. Oh, and one. This one lifted in the air, left field, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just down. found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. The 0-2 from Hilton. Slider gets the K for Hilton Smith. Here's the catcher, Hughes. And that is in for a strike. Going one. Grounder might be two. Robinson that's to second, out. and that's two. Hilton Smith was one of many great two-way stars in the Negro Leagues. And over recent times, we've become enamored by the nature of two-way stars, primarily because of the great success of Shohei Otani. Well, the Negro Leagues were filled with great two-way stars, and Hilton Smith was just one of many. And what made Hilton so special was when he wasn't pitching, he played the outfield and had a lifetime batting average over 300. Monarchs ace Hilton Smith digging in now. Maybe the best season of Hilton Smith's career was 1941. He went 10 and 0 for Kansas City, a 153 ERA, and on top of that, he batted 353 and he slugged 500. And there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Line drive and base hit. Terry fires it to the plate, puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. Here's the two-way threat, Hilton Smith. Hilton Smith faced down some of the best in baseball and succeeded. He was really excellent in barnstorming games and impressed a lot of major leaguers, including Bob Feller. Ball. Up and in, 1-0. and oh. One of Hilton's great barnstorming performances came when the Monarchs played the Dizzy Dean All-Stars at Wrigley Field in Chicago in 1942. Hilton and Satchel Paige pitched for Kansas City, and they beat the major leaguers 3-1. to one. Hilton gave up one hit in three innings, struck out three batters, and got the win. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. One is lifted in the air. A little bloop single. So a man aboard now with one away. Slapped foul. The 0-1. Oh. Straighten him up a little Water. bit. Ball to strike. On the ground to third. Stops it on a slide. Hayes. Out. Toss to second. Out on the first. Doing? Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. And he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering. That to right. Smith puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Here's the two-way threat, Hilton Smith. Up the middle, Murray collects it. Whips it to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. 
Hilton Smith faced down some of the best in baseball and succeeded. He was really excellent in barnstorming games and impressed a lot of major leaguers, including Bob Feller. That's out to center field and a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Waste no time there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. The other way, and it goes just foul. One of Hilton's great barnstorming performances came when the Monarchs played the Dizzy Dean All-Stars at Wrigley Field in Chicago in 1942. Hilton and Satchel Paige pitched for Kansas City, and they beat the major leaguers 3-1. to one. Hilton gave up one hit in three innings, struck out three batters, and got the win. That one the other way. He'll do it himself, oh. and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And first offering is fouled off. Line drive. Makes the catch. Inning over. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. That one the other way. Oh, he can't squeeze it. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Hilton Smith digging in now. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing at all. One down, base is empty. Ball and that one upstairs. That's towards center. McDonald drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now fly ball to right center. McDonald gliding to his left. He's got it. Two down. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And now the count is even. Rip to third and caught. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Left field, glass. Has this one sized up? Balls it in, and there's one away. Smith swings through it for strike one. The O2. Short hop liner handled it short. And that is the ball game.
Hilton Smith digging in now. Right side. And it falls. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. Ground ball left side. And that's just foul. You'll one. Late that time, and it's strike two. In the air, right field. Smith under it. And that'll do it. And now here is Hilton Smith. He was late there. Strike oh, one. one. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Put that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pick. Here's the two-way threat, Hilton Smith. First offering, and it just misses. Bounce to third. And there's two down. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And it drops in. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And first offering is fouled off. You know, this group of hitters doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so... They keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Oh, and that liner got him. Here's the tag, and he's out. Hilton Smith digging in now. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. That one drilled left field. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. That's a double, and he's got a four-hit day. His first game in Kansas City, his first full season with the Monarchs in 1937, what did Hilton Smith do? He only threw a perfect game. Yeah, he blanked the Chicago American Giants 4 to nothing. Hilton Smith had that great breaking ball and then a dominating fastball to go on top of it. 
you got to sit on his fastball, and then you had virtually no chance of hitting his curveball. That went along with a repertoire of other great pitches, but the curveball was the pitch that really made Hilton Smith unhittable. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Murray. In the air out towards right center. Newman glides to his left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Hilton's perfect game really set the tone for his 1937 season. He led the Negro American League with 11 wins, 3 shutouts, and 99 strikeouts oh all while hitting over 300. Next offering is in for a strike. Hilton actually led the league in strikeouts for four of his first five seasons with Kansas City, and his perfect game was actually historic in another way, Boog, since it was the first no-hitter thrown in an official Negro American League game. Now the third baseman, Hayes. That one's in there, 0-1. The next Whoa, offering hit. misses. Yeah, the count even one and one. Hey. Gonna count one and two. Hilton's perfecto actually came in the longest drought of perfect games in Major League history. Three. Charlie Robertson threw one in April of 1922, and then it took more than 30 years to see another. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Smith. Smith back to work. Strike one. Oh, All right, trivia pitch. time, Singy. Do you know who snapped the perfect game drought after 34 years? Of course, Boo. It was Don Larson in the 1956 World Series. That's right. Smith wheels and deals. What Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Didn't go. Smith comes to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering is fouled back. Out towards left center. Flashes the leather on the running catch. Then there's one down. He swings and fouls one off. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. In the air, left field down the line. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Safely into second. He's got a double. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Marie. And the pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Oh, and one. Next one misses, and it's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Next offering is downstairs. Next pitch has popped up. And Buck hauls it in for the out. One away. Taylor batting with one down takes a strike and that one fouled off what? next one just misses and a count one and two got him swinging for the strikeout 
Slider got him for strike three. Two outs, space is empty. Digging in, Hayes. In there, and it's 0-1. High fly ball down the left field line. Sanders puts it away, and that is that. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Smith. The right-hander back to work. Oh. That one missed. Smith wheels and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Smith comes to the plate. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's the left fielder, Glass. In there for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. And down on strikes he goes. Smith still locked in with two gone now. Bates will hit next. Good eye right there. And he deals. One ball, two strikes. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Bottom of the ninth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Hughes. And there's the strike. All ones that count. The ball next one. pitch misses, and that is ball one. one. Swings one and ball. misses. Two that's strike two. Swings and misses. Just two more to get here. So up next, McDonald. One. Next offering is down low, and it's one to no. That just misses. Now 2-0. Oh. That one fouled off. Hilton with a 2-1. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. Did not go. Next offering finds the zone of the count is four. Got him looking. And now Hilton Smith just one out from history. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Mason trying to get something going for him with two away. There's the strike. 0 oh 1. Smash to the left side. And it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game.
Welcome back to Comiskey Park. Bottom of the seventh, and the batter will be the shortstop, Murray. Swing and a base hit. Bottom of the inning, now at the plate, Murray. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Hilton's perfect game really set the tone for his 1937 season. He led the Negro American League with 11 wins, three shutouts, and 99 strikeouts, all while hitting over 300. Next offering misses down and away. Hilton actually led the league in strikeouts for four of his first All five three. seasons with Kansas City, and his perfect game was actually historic in another way, Boog, since it was the first no-hitter thrown in an official Negro American League game. The punch out there, so he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And now, Taylor. That's a ball. Smith wheels and deals. Line to left. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Welcome back. Leading off, Murray. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And it's one and one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab one down. Taylor in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And fouled off. Smith comes to the plate. Liner to second and picked on the hop. He's on out. to O'Neill. Two up, two down. Hayes stands in now and watches strike one. And a curve is down and in. And now one and one two. Two straight. Next That's pitch bullshit. misses. Two balls, two strikes. Got him swinging. Back here at Comiskey Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Smith. Swing and a miss. That one in the All dirt. The count. Next offering down one. low and in the dirt. The other way. Makes the catch one down. Glass ball at one, the plate now. Play. That's ball one. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Swing and a miss. Now two and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Smith still locked in with two gone now. Two outs, space is empty. And here's the first baseman, Bates. Swings through that one, 0-1. Off the mark there. And now it's even 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss. 1-2. and two. Pitch misses there, 2-2. Two and two. Smith wheels and deals. And down on strikes. 
And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Last chance for the home team. And here's the catcher, Hughes. That one's in there. That's strike one. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play, Murray. Started after the 0-1 pitch, and now a check down to first. And he went around, ruled a swing. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Smith wheels and deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Taylor, the next to hit. Ball one, one there. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Ball. Next pitch is downstairs. There's a strike at the knees. Two and two. Smith comes to the plate. Fights it off. He'll see another. One down. Base is empty. Got him. That's the second out. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the third baseman. Hayes. On the ground. Right side. Little picks it up, tosses the first, out number three. And welcome back, bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Smith. Oh. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Oh, Check man. swing, no appeal, 2 and 0. Oh. The wind to kick the 2 0. -oh. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. One up, one down. Now the left fielder, Glass. First pitch, just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Smith still locked in with two gone now. So two down now. And here is Bates. And that's in there for strike one. That pitch in for a strike. 0 oh and 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back to Comiskey Park. So bottom of the ninth at the play. Hughes. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Just two more to get here. So digging in, McDonald. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. On one. And nope. ball one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. And he chases that one. And now Hilton Smith just one out from history. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. Mason looking for a two out spark with the bases empty. First offering misses the mark. There's a strike. Ooh. 
One strike to go. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. The one-two. It's over. Hilton Smith tosses a perfect game. What a performance. Hilton Smith did something that I don't think we will ever see done in the game of baseball again. Hilton Smith won 20 games or more, 12 consecutive years. He goes 6-1 and one in exhibition games against Major League All-Stars. He was likely the best pitcher in all of baseball at that time who by the time that Jackie Robinson breaks Major League Baseball's color barrier, he realized that he was too old. The majors came calling, but he knew by that time he was too old to cross over that threshold and go into Major League Baseball. to the top of the order now. Harvey now at the plate. The pitch. Yeah, that's a little high. Hilton Smith thrived in high-pressure situations like this. He shined at several East-West All-Star games, and he dominated the home state Grays over five shutout innings in game two of the 1942 Negro League World Series. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Marshall in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. That's in for a strike. Hilton had so many great moments in the spotlight. He tossed a complete game win in Game 5 of the 1946 Negro League World Series against the Newark Eagles, who had Larry Doby and Monty Irvin. Hilton also got a hit and scored a run for good measure. Reese in the box now. Take strike one. Pitch misses inside. One and one. Next offering is foul back. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the catch. Hilton Smith tight ropes out of the... Hilton Smith earned a reputation as being Satchel Shot, the legendary Satchel Page. He would oftentimes come in and relieve Satchel. Well, Satchel was the draw. So Satchel's going to pitch two or three innings. And who came in and pitched the last six or seven? Hilton Smith. And all the old timers in the Negro League say, if you're going to get anything, you better get it off of Satchel because you weren't going to touch Hilton Smith. Back to the top of the order now. Terry digs in now. The pitch. Yeah. There's a strike. It really oh, does help Smith a disservice to think of him only as Satchel Page's shadow. 
But Smith always knew he was just as good on the mound, even if Satchel was the box office main attraction. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. And O'Neill makes the play. Yeah, there are a lot of major leaguers who found out just how good Hilton Smith was, too. In 1937, he threw a shutout against a team with Bob Feller, Vince DiMaggio, and Johnny Mize as part of a barnstorming series. And in all three games he pitched, the right players didn't score a single run off him. Swings, threw it, and that's a strikeout. Now the batter now, Gordon, in there, and it's 0-1. Hilton was so good in interracial games over the years that Mize and Stan Musial both said he had as good a curveball as they've ever seen. High praise coming from two Hall of Fame players. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We go to the eighth. And now the first baseman, Parker. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And a count is 0-2. Next pitch is popped up. Smith makes the catch. And there's one down. After Hilton was done playing, he followed in his father's footsteps and became a school teacher in Kansas City. Kind of full circle because the first organized team he played on back in Texas was with his dad. Floyd in the box now. Takes strike one. Next one misses, and that's ball one. After his teaching days, Smith was a foreman in a steel mill for a while before he became a scout for the Chicago Cubs. Another full circle moment there since his old teammate and manager, Buck O'Neill, had been scouting for him since 1955. Gets down, base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Smith kicks and delivers. And a count one and two. Floyd, the base runner at first with one out. And that's in the dirt. And it's two and two. And a swing and a miss. Hilton still looking very sharp for KC. And here is Everett. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Swings through that one out in front that time. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Welcome back to Mulebach Field. And now the center fielder, Adams. There's a strike. Oh, one's the count. Strike two. The 0 2 from Hilton. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two outs to go for Hilton Smith, who's just been terrific in relief of Satchel. Foul ball. Smith wheels and deals. Late on that fastball. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Now it's the right fielder, Terry. In there for strike one. Ball game. Hilton Smith with a great relief outing to seal it for KC.
It is Hilton Smith who is credited with having introduced or recommended Jackie Roosevelt Robinson to Kansas City Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. Hilton had seen Jackie playing against a white military baseball team that had major league players on it in 1942. He quickly recommended Jackie to Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. When Jackie gets discharged from the military in 1944, he writes to Monarchs owner J.O. Wilkinson and Wilkie gives him a tryout. He makes the team and he joins the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. Many credit Hilton Smith for introducing us to the man that would break Major League Baseball's six-decade-long self-imposed color barriers.